What's going on YouTube? My name is Kyle. You have made it to Obsessed Auto and tonight we're in the Sierra. On our way to watch JR go shop, it is time to do the exterior of the disaster Silverado detail. That was almost a mouthful, but I think I got it. So anyways, we are right at 99 degrees, 236,000 miles, AC blasting. I think everything I need. If not, the parts store will be open for a little bit longer so we can stop and grab whatever I forgot, if I forgot anything at all. And yeah. We're gonna make this paint look a whole lot better. If you did see the last video, I did a very small section um, with one of the products that I brought. I brought two different polishing compounds. One of them breaks down. Well, I shouldn't say polishing compounds. One of them I would say is almost a rubbing compound. It's pretty aggressive, but it breaks down and turns itself into a polishing compound. So it's kind of like a, a one-step type of deal. Um, so we might give that a whirl. I brought decon, I brought clay. You guys probably don't need to hear any of this. I'm just going through my mental notes. Rags, everything. GoPro batteries, and this time. So in the last video, I did put you guys on my forehead. However, none of that footage turned out proper. So I will see you guys when we get to JR's shop. All right, guys, so here we are, JR's headquarters. They're over there getting the floor cleaned up. Uh, so I've got my little area here set up, you know, only the best value services. Got two buckets, floor mats, engine cleaner, rubber cleaner, foam cannon. I just moved in. That's, that's all there is to it. I moved in what i moved in oh. where's where's my bed what's up <laughs> how's it going oh you know appreciate you having me oh, part two bro. of the detail that's nah, not going Ooh, anywhere that was good i know it's covered in dirt <laughs> that was good as was... <laughs> um but anyway i'm degreasing the floor because my floors get done tomorrow oh. so so your floors are going to be super clean super clean. as is your silverado okay. that's what's up man okay, wait, should i just do you want a splash give her I'm give her kidding. a splash i'm not gonna do that this stuff uh i feel like it's actually really hardcore cleaning Oh yeah, like super clean, yeah. purple power. Hardcore. Very hardcore. All right, I'm gonna go put this in my floor sweeper. <laughs> Sounds good. Go rip some donuts. That's it. <laughs> Tokyo drifting. Tokyo drift. So, I'm gonna get to work. You guys enjoy the, enjoy the wash and I'll see you when it's done. Here we are, got the wash complete.
it's nice and dark dark colored truck so who knows what you guys can see it's not too bad we'll get it inside and really show you um so a lot of this is definitely going to come out with the polish as soon as this hood dries completely you'll really see um what we've got underneath when it's wet it looks really really good when it's dry it looks like somebody wet sanded it with about 3,000 grit sandpaper and if any of you body guys out there know what i'm talking about you know so anybody that doesn't know what i'm talking about it leaves a very very dull gray looking finish almost like uh the corrugated seal right here but obviously not to that extent so anyways we'll get this thing pulled in get it under the lights let it dry off a little bit and we will do a walk around and i'll give you guys the rundown of what we got going on and we're back <laughs> that's old school saturday night life some of you might get that so here we go Whoo! How about that? You can kind of see a reflection in here. But uh, when we get done with this thing, don't you worry about trying to see a reflection. You will see a reflection. Yeah. So I keep seeing on TikTok all the cool kids put uh, put their cameras against the paint to show the reflection. So let's see what we can do here. See how deceiving that? Ah, uh, maybe it's not so deceiving because if you turn it, you can see all the imperfections. So obviously, this is not going to be a full paint correction. Not going to be, you know crazy over the top show truck but we're gonna make it look a whole lot better there's not really enough paint to actually pull off of <laughs> no so, but it's okay it, oh yeah it's gonna come out well, i was just telling him yeah it looks like the hood got hit with 3,000 grit sandpaper it kind of does very dull yeah incredibly dull also right here it looks like somebody did a, a uh dukes of hazard slide oh for sure but uh, a pretty impressive one because they would have had to run at this angle jump slide oh yeah and then Spider-Man in through the window. <laughs> Double twist Double with a flip. Yeah, a full into a back handspring <laughs> window. Okay, so as I said, Monday's video, we're gonna take this uh, 3M adhesive off. At least I assume it's 3M. I think from the factory, that's what they use. This may not be factory. But the side clad moldings that all GMs of this era have, um, it's out of place to say the least, but somebody before us here took this off, whether that be John or the previous owner. So we got left with the felt double-sided tape. So remedy for that is this beautiful 3M adhesive removal re wheel. Adhesive removal wheel. I can't talk. It's been a long day. Adhesive removal wheel. There we are. Then we're going to hit it with the M12 drill. Hook those two up. I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse. We're going to rip those off of here. And then uh, it's polish time. So there's somebody yelling in the other side of this shop. Whatever could be happening over here. Oh, jeez. You still have the kill disc on it? Oh, oh, I'm on the uh, grinding wheel now trying to flatten these studs off. So I'm down to like, I got probably four left. Everybody's doing projects. That's a two, that was an 8 0 and a 6 0. Ooh. Let's see if we can get another one. I think the impact has a uh, 6 0 on it. Very nice. Yeah. Milwaukee for the win.
All right, guys, so as you just saw in that time lapse, we have made some progress. A little bit. Oh, oh. <laughs> the GoPro 8 might be a very small camera, but that is a difference. This looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. borrow you for my thumbnail. This is, this is killer, man. I love so, it. So, before, obviously not all the way before. Right. We have done a hand wash. Yep. And one step. Not only have we done a hand wash, I took it through the auto, not like a brush auto, mm. but like the laser wash, like three times. Let's be honest, in the condition it's in, I don't, I, I wouldn't judge you if you went through the brush. Oh man, I was just trying to get the dirt out from under it, and my laser wash has the under sprayers. Oh, nice. So I nice. just did it over and over. Yeah. Nice. I like it. Absolutely. So, fender done, driver's half the hood done. As you saw in the time lapse, the 3M double sided tape. I'm assuming it's 3M. Probably. That's what GM really likes to use. We got that off. So I'm going to keep grinding. I think that the biggest difference, believe it or not, is going to be the roof. I believe it. When I washed it, roof, it was terrible. Terrible. So we're getting there. Um, just grinding away. There's your update. I will see you guys in just a few seconds. And we're back! <laughs> that was a lot of energy expelled. Fender, done. Door, not done. Half of the clad tape is gone. Need to do that door, bedside, this half of the roof, and the tailgate. However, if we scoot on over to this side, what a major freaking difference. Look at that, you can see me. Oh, hey, how's it going, guys? Oh, that is, I think I can officially call this a beautiful truck. At least the driver's side. So the roof, we're halfway on it, but it is a significant difference significant so we are creeping up on that two o'clock hour we got that witching hour coming up however get this 3m double side tape get that gone 
polish the door, polish the door, polish half the roof, cab corner, bed with crinkle, tailgate. Then it's time for Avalon King. Oh, and can't forget my favorite part of every single detail, coverall. So, these guys don't sponsor me at all. I just really, really love their product. So check this out. Semi-clean tire, I reckon. And then just... Oh, it's so satisfying. That's really why I detail. It's just the satisfaction level on every single part of what I do is just amazingly gorgeous. These things are old enough that they should, huh, should suck that just right in. Ah, it's staying a little shiny. I am thoroughly impressed. I mean, I'm the one doing the work, so I should be impressed, but F and Mint. One dead battery, well, two dead batteries later. We are on battery number three. The detail is almost complete. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> As you can tell, the truck actually reflects light now. <laughs> <laughs> you can see reflections. As always, got the superior products. Coverall on the tires. Not sponsored, not paid. I just really, really like the way it looks. Haven't found anything that lasts that long, that cheap, and is that easy to apply. <laughs> what a smoking deal. I know. Yeah. The trifecta. So, yep, this is about as good as this is gonna get. We've got one thing that I need to try. John's used it multiple times. We are ceramic coating with Avalon King. Oh, breaking out the fresh box. Woo! Fancy pants. Almost. Uh, that was a beautiful a catch. I was trying to go like this. <laughs> you know? That way we could violently open the box. Absolutely. Okay. Almost a TikTok. Center just a little too hard, bud. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Fresh. Woo! Fresh, fresh. Look at that. Almost as shiny as this smile. All right, guys, just like that, we're done. Done. Donezo for realsies. I love it. Got Avalon King ceramic coating on here. I've got to say, I've applied my fair share of ceramic coatings. This was probably the most forgiving to apply. Yeah. Probably the most forgiving. And. It's good stuff. And just look at the shine. It's just unreal. There used to be a lot of comments when people said it didn't shine as much as other coatings, but I think it's like way better than other coatings. So I use a lot of G Techniques. Yeah. And I would say it's very comparable okay. to CSL. Gotcha. The install yeah. 
way easier. Way easier than CSL. Way more forgiving. Yep, that checks out. Let's get a little weird with it. Get a little weird with it? Aren't this, isn't this what the kids on TikTok are doing? What, what are they doing? Putting. Oh, the reflection chart? Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, no, there's two JRs. <laughs> Can't have that. Delete, delete, delete. <laughs> So anyways, guys, this is episode two and the final episode of Disaster Detail Silverado Edition. As always, if you did like this video, slam that like button. If you are new here, consider subscribing. I do things like this, not necessarily for people like this. I'll bring Usually it's just for me. Well, bring it on, brother. You know where I am. <laughs> I know where you are. We got things going on. There you go. There you go. So yeah, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you on board. If you do know somebody that would like something like this, share it. I mean, this is, I think this was more satisfying than the interior. Oh yeah. The exterior really turned around. For sure. Really turned around. I mean, don't get me wrong. The paint on the back seat, top notch. Yeah. Exterior though. I think that's where it's at. Yep. I appreciate you having me, bro. Dude, thank you. So that's all I've got for you guys. Until the next video, we'll see you then.